Hello everybody, we're just here for another daily devotional. Today we're in the county downside of our city, uh, just over the Union Bridge, over the other side of the River Lagan. And you'll notice in the background here an old Presbyterian church, Sloan Street Presbyterian Church. It was a church I was uh, brought up in. 1947, the Reverend W.P. Nicholson had a gospel campaign in this church. You might remember that from the 1920s he was working and preaching the Word of God right across Ulster and in other parts of the world. And God was really moving. And in 1922, he had a tremendous, a tremendous mission in Railway Street. And in 1947, he had a gospel campaign here in Sloan Street. But this church was erected in the wake of the 1859 revival. I know that many have a great interest amongst God's people of revival, especially the Ulster Awakening. And this church and many other, especially Presbyterian churches, were erected in the wake of the 1859 revival. A young man by the name of James McQuilkin, who attended a church in the Ballymena area, had recently been converted and was growing on with God and he was growing in grace. And one Lord's Day, his minister said, James, could you not be doing something more for God? And he thought about that and was challenged about that. And along with three other young men, they opened up an old schoolhouse in the evening in Kells and they began to pray for revival. And they read some of the great Christian literature of that time and they became convinced that, that if God was entreated and they sought God and their hearts were right and they prayed on and prayed through that God would do something. And so they prayed and they prayed and they prayed and God graciously sent revival. But you know, just before the revival came, the Irish Presbyterian Church, the largest denomination on the island, was divided in many ways. Arian teaching had come into the church and was beginning to gain a foothold in the Irish Presbyterian Church. It essentially denied the person of Jesus Christ, called into question his deity, his eternality, and it reduced the Saviour, the Son of God, to being God or Jehovah's first creation. And it was a heresy. It was a false teaching, a false doctrine, and it was gaining foothold in the Presbyterian Church. But Dr. Henry Cook, and if you ever go into Belfast there, you'll see the black man statue, they call it, uh, just there in the city centre. That's Dr. Henry Cook. And Henry Cook was a great theologian, a man of principle and a man of integrity. And he debated this doctrine. And after a period of time, a vote was taken and the Arians were put out of the Irish Presbyterian Church. It became compulsory for their ministers to sign the Westminster Confession of Faith as a declaration of their own faith. And the Arians left and formed the non-subscribing Presbyterian Church. So before revival came to Ulster, there was a purging of the church. Theological soundness had to come back. And young men and other people were beginning to pray for revival. And doesn't it remind us of that great text of scripture in 2 Chronicles seven fourteen, where God said to Solomon at the erection of the temple, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways and seek my face, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. We need healing in our land. And that'll happen, I believe, if God's people humble themselves, pray, turn from their wicked ways and seek first the kingdom of God and get rid of those things in our lives and even in our churches that are not right in God's sight. Let's pray for a better day. Let's seek God for a great move of his spirit.